Hey, first, let me let me let me explain exactly how officials look at this play. Okay. Okay, that's the most important thing because nobody here has ever officiated a game. I don't say. This is true. You haven't. You haven't. I haven't. You haven't officiated. With not too much success sometimes. But let let me let me explain this to you. We have the last seconds of a game, a one-point game. The only official that can make this call is the official underneath the basket because he's the player Ginobili's going into traffic. Hugs the ball. Now, all fans, what do they do? They watch where the ball is and they watch Ginobili, the offensive player. Ginobili gets compromised right away because if you're an experienced official, as this person is on the baseline, okay, watching, he referees the defensive player, not the offensive player. Okay. And you see it, and you can watch it again and again and again, Skip and Stephen A. He puts his hand on the ball first, gets contact with the ball first, which knocks the ball loose. Now, once the ball becomes loose, all bets are off. Ginobili is compromised, knows that Allen gets the ball, and what does he try to do? Sell the play. Now, the official on the baseline must not, number one in this situation, ever guess on a play, especially late in the game. Now, Dial goes in front of him, too, but I think he sees Allen enough where he sees the ball, hand on the ball first, Ball comes loose, maybe hits the arm afterwards, doesn't matter after that. Once the ball's loose in the hand on the arm, no foul, it's the correct no call at that situation, time uh, of the game. Steve, with all <clears> due <throat> respect, mm -hmm. I, I saw hand on flesh before hand on ball. So did I. I, I, I disagree with you. No, I, I watched that play. I'm telling you, we're going we're gonna to agree to disagree on this one because I'm I don't know how many times I saw it last night. I saw it this morning. That hand gets on the ball first, then comes off the ball, gets flesh after, but the ball, in my opinion, comes loose. The official on the play. Here's the thing. Doesn't see it in the slow motion as we see it, does he, guys? No, 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 no. no, no. I, well, no we understand. No, no, here's no, no. the thing. He Hold sees on. it in real time. Oh, no, we, Steve, oh, no, well, we well, certainly understand that. He sees that. it in real time. No, no, no. no. We and certainly understand guess that. On the Nobody's going to refute that. We certainly, he, we certainly understand that the official doesn't see it in slow motion. He doesn't have the benefit of replay. We totally get that sure, part. Good. You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not, I'm not refuting that. I'm saying that I saw him. I saw Ray Allen's hand on his arm before I saw it on the ball. Okay. That's number one. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to explain to us when you say the official on the baseline is the only one that's allowed to make that call. Didn't say allowed. I said in this situation is the only one that could possibly see it. As I looked okay. at the play, the person on the left side of the ball, which is the slot official base, he can't see it because it's two, it. two bunch. Right. We're talking about angles here. Understood. Who has the open angle? We call okay. them open angles, closed angles. Okay. The only person that has a chance at it because of all the congestion in there mm -hmm. is the official that's on the baseline. Right. That's are the you, only Are you comfortable to say which official was on? I can't see in the... No, it's Mike Callahan. Okay. okay. Yeah. Mike Callahan. Thank yeah. You. Okay. Yeah. And, okay. Uh, and in this situation, uh, an official's mentality in this situation as he's coming down, and I'm telling you what the mentality is, before I put air in that whistle, I better be 100% sure it's a foul. I can't imagine... If he blew that as a foul and it wasn't a foul, which I don't think it is anyway, don't you think right now we'd be sitting there right. if he blows that whistle as a foul and Ginobili makes two free throws? Oh, right. Who wins the championship? Well, Mickey Harrison's drawing that circle. Like, look at Ray Allen's hands on the ball. That's right. He's, he's, he's drawing that circle. For, for our viewers, mm -hmm. uh, explain to us the last two minutes of a game. What is, you know, because a lot of things are reviewable in this day and mm -hmm. age, obviously, mm -hmm. with instant replay and stuff. Talk to us about what could have been done, particularly assuming a call had been made and it was being refuted at that particular moment. What recourse does the opposition have? I don't know. I, I'm trying to. No, no. What I'm saying is, if, if, if Greg Popovich, let's say for example, you call a foul was called on Ginobili, like well, you said. Okay. All right, and it was refutable. Mm. I mean, what recourse would Eric yeah. Spoelstra have had? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Not, it's not reviewable. Sure. What's the judgment Understood. calls are not reviewable. Got it. Okay, is mature. there any mentality, especially on the road against the defending champs? that refs are going to just swallow whistles with three seconds left in overtime. Not you're at all. you're just going to yeah. look no, the other you, way. No, it's one thing. Your mind can't process that, Skip. I mean, as an official and being on the floor, the most important thing you're thinking of is I'm refereeing the defender, making sure I'm 100% right before I put air in the whistle. Yeah. Nothing else comes in your mind. You can't. It would yeah, just clog your mind up. I can't sit there and go, well, when you say it's the visiting team, they're coming. Right. To, no, right. you're, you're just watching the defensive player. You know that, say, the you're, you're refereeing the defender who's maybe in a white shirt. Watch white watch what you're self-talking all the time you can't put all these other thoughts in your mind because you're not going to get plays right Steve Next let's one. talk about the last shot of mm -hmm. the game okay mm -hmm. one in which Skip had an issue with the, it the was blocked that was a body block Chris yeah. Bosch blocks Danny yeah. Green no uh, foul is call at all right. right call wrong call in your opinion I want to ask Skip what part of the ball did he foul he didn't foul any. He got hand cleanly on ball, and then he body blocked Danny Green because he was flying at him and hit him full body. Any other point in the game, that is called a three-shot foul. No. But but again, Stephen A. and I said 
right off the top this morning, we don't have a huge problem with that because that's the one that call. you just looked the other well, way. Yeah, no, no, Stephen A., I, let's, let's forget about that, getting that call. Watch the play from the baseline where the official had the angle on the side. Watch the play. Bosch goes up. Obviously, Danny Green's moving. Bosch is moving. Bosch's hand is on the ball. The hand on the ball on the block shot forces Danny Green down. That's the perfect angle right there. This one's not the great angle. It's the other angle. And there's very minimal. The contact is up yeah, here, the, which forces the guy down the on the floor. the flip side to it, Steve, and is it has that nothing to do the, with momentum, the, last... the momentum that Bosch had coming into the play caused the bodily contact. So so what I'm saying is, and this is Jeff Van Gundy, who's been a coach in the NBA, Knicks. How many years did he referee? Never. Okay. Never. But I'm just saying, I'm just throwing that out there. Okay. It ain't just us. What he said was, and he makes this point, I like your response to it. He said 46 minutes during any game. Right. That's a foul. Right. In a situation of this magnitude, you're not getting that call. That's what Jeff Van Gundy I said. I heard him. I, heard, right. I was on the headset. Right. And if 40, first minute of the game or last second of the game, if that official calls that play, the official's boss will call him and say, incorrect call. That's not a foul. Inco I don't care if it's the first, second of the game. Last, that is not a foul. And I'm telling you, it's just not a foul. Was Chris Bosh going, as they say, vertically straight up? Uh, you know, he, vertically means you're standing in one position right. and you're going straight up. He's moving with the play, mm -hmm. jumps, hands on the ball, Skip, okay? And what I saw, is <laughs> what I saw, he doesn't go through him at all. The momentum of both players, hand on the ball, Danny Green actually almost in a fall away type you know, position, pushes him to the ground. I that got way. a very interesting question to ask you. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're refuting a lot of stuff here in this sense. We listen to coaches all the time. Ask any reporter worth their salt. Ask any uh, commentator, pundit, whatever the case may be. Coaches will tell players all the time, you're on the road in games of huge magnitudes. Don't expect calls. Mm -hmm. You're not, I mean, we, and, and they attribute it to you being the road team, the visiting team. According to what you're saying, plays no factor whatsoever, has nothing to do with it. We don't have time to compute, even comprehend such nonsense. It's ridiculous. We're just calling the game. No emotion involved. We don't think like that at all. We just call what we see. But coaches are telling players, excuse me, you're on the road, don't expect these calls. What do you say to that? I couldn't say what you just said any better, Stephen A., and that's why I'm here, because all you're getting is a coach's point of view, an ex-coach or an ex-player. You're never getting a referee's point of view. Right. I'm trained. These guys are trained professionals, just as coaches are trained in their X's and O's, players are trained in their X's and O's. Referees go through so much years of getting to the level of the finals. The years of experience in this crew is well over 100, almost 100 years. The plays they've seen, the places they've been, they don't care who's the visiting team. They don't care who's the home team. You know what they want to do? They want to get plays right. That's the name of the game. They don't want to sit there and be all over SportsCenter and say, well, you know, he missed this call, he missed that call. But you do, sound like you're omitting, right. you do sound like you're omitting the, the potential of the human element in, 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 in infiltrating the situation when it comes to officials. Number one, number one, I will always admit this, always admit this. Referees, and I was obviously part of that craft, we miss plays every night. Okay. If I felt that these plays were missed, I would sit here and say to both of you, three of you, you know what? Probably wish he didn't have a whistle. Probably wish he did have a whistle. I would say that to you. Yep. I know the intensity of these games. I know how trained these officials are. I know what they're not thinking about. Mm -hmm. What they're not thinking about is the visiting team and home team. They yep. want to get that play right. So when Stephen A. and Skip Bayless over here mm -hmm. want to talk about it, they want to be right. That's Steve the name Jabby of the game. with wow. a verbal throwdown, and guess what? And gentlemen. I got you all. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. And the whistle. <laughs> That's a foul on you, Stephen I cannot I yeah. take it better. Oh, I'd foul out every game. Better than that. Steve, I'd get a tech a week. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. My pleasure. More first take after the break.